The Russian government plans to allocate millions of dollars starting this year to develop a rocket propelled by nuclear power. The spacecraft could be the only feasible way to travel to Mars. It's expected that a draft design of the new spaceship will be ready by 2012 and the spaceship itself will be constructed by 2018. An estimated cost of this ambitious project is some 600 million U.S. dollars. But more importantly about this project is not even the cost of it, but the engine. It's a nuclear-powered engine, a revolutionary new one, much more powerful than the current uh, chemical rocket engines, which produce relatively little energy. So they, they need the gravity of other planets to catapult them further into space. Well, the new uh, spaceships uh, could do it all on their own because of that new engine. Also, rockets uh, with these engines are much lighter. They can travel twice as fast. The use of these nuclear-powered engines is an inevitable thing. It's the only way to penetrate the deepest, the darkest corners of the solar system. Russia will lead the race should the works on the new project start this year. Well, one may ask, if this is such a breakthrough project, why did it take so long to implement it? The fact is that one of the most feasible forms of future space travel is also one of the most controversial. Well, when we are talking about nuclear-powered missions, there are always a risk that radioactivity could be released in the event of an accident or re-entry. Opponents speak of Chernobyl in sky should vehicle fail. Of course there are certain risks. If, for example, something should happen during the entry into space. There have been incidents in the 1960s and 70s when similar nuclear devices shifted from their orbits, causing contamination. So measures must be taken to avoid such emergencies. And we have to understand that the project Russia is planning to invest into, it's an environmental friendly project, because this new spaceship will be launched into space with conventional chemical engines, and only when the spacecraft is far away from the planet of Earth will the nuclear reactors fire up. That would mean that radioactivity would not find its way back home. And finally, so very quickly here, um, why Mars? Why not another planet in the solar system? What's the interest in Mars? Well, it is uh, the uh, most... Uh, it is... Uh, see, uh, of all the other uh, planets of the solar system, uh, Mars is... Uh, most likely to be terraformated. In other words, it's like a spare planet uh, for mankind. And besides, uh, Mars is uh, the only planet in the solar system, as far as we know now, where we could find traces of life.